Okay, and welcome to the video on SQL update statements. So, um, an update statement is to update existing records within a table. Now, it is not used to put new records in, it can only update records that are already in a table. Now, when you're updating, you can actually update a single record. You can update multiple records. And you can actually update a single or multiple fields. And we'll try and give you examples of all of these. So um, if we look at the structure of a, an update statement, it has a few parts. One is, the first part is you specify the table that has got the records. Your second is you need to specify the new values that are going to be put in for these the third is you specify any criteria to which records will be updated. So, for example, if you only want to update um, a course that runs on a particular day or um, a particular name, um, you don't want to update every single record in a database, potentially. So, let's look at a, a quick example here where we're just going to update a single record. So, uh, a few bikes have been damaged and the capacity for this course here, that usually takes 10, has got to be reduced so that it needs to be 8. So we'll just highlight the value. We're going to change this value here. So the SQL statement for this one would be that we're going to update the table called course. So that selects the table. Then we need to say what the new values are going to be. So we're going to set the course, sorry, the capacity equal to 8. Now, it is really important that we specify which records we want to update here because if we don't, if we, up, if we run that query there, we would change every single capacity to course, uh, sorry, every single capacity to 8. And that's not what we want to do. We only want to update a very particular record which we'll just highlight which is this one here so we need to specify where which record we want to be and we use the where keyword for that where the course ID equals BMX01 So if we then run that query, the result would be that the capacity for the course is now changed to 8. And that is shown just in the new record down here. So if we look at this example, what we're going to say is that there's been an issue with the training centre and that all courses due to run on the 9th of December have to be delayed until the 11th. So if we quickly just kind of highlight the records that we think should change here, it should be this one, this one, and this one. So you'll see that there are more than one uh, row that has to be changed. So if we just look at the first part of the SQL statement, what we're going to say is that we're going to update the, the table called course. The second part is going to be is going to specify what the new dates are going to be. So for us, it's going to be we're going to set the field called date and remember about the format. We've just used short sort of the format that we're used up there. So we're going to set the date equal. Now remember, you put uh, speech marks or apostrophes. So we're going to say that the date is equal to two thousand seventeen. And remember, December, uh, sorry, September is the ninth month, and we're going to set the date to be the fourth. The third part is going to be the criteria that we're going to use to specify which records are changed. So we're going to say that where the date equals 2017 9 1. And that should ensure 
that that date there, that date there, and that date there are changed. Okay, so what we'll see here is that now there's been a change of staffing and all BMX courses will now be taught by another instructor called R. Hay, whose ID is 3, and all the courses will now be limited to a capacity of 10 people. So we're going to update more than one field here. So what we're going to do is, as we have done before, we're going to specify, first of all, which table we're going to update. So we're going to update the table called course. We are going to now say what we're going to set the fields as. So we are going to say that the capacity is now equal to 8. And also that the instructor ID equals 3. And the last part is which fields we want to update. And we will just assume at the minute that all the BMX courses have got the same title. So we're going to say where title equals and in speech marks BMX. 